Hi everyone, welcome back to To Wonder Freely. We are, we're a little bit behind um, our monthly anniversary. It is actually our nine month. Because I think yes. the last one was, I said it was our nine month, it was actually, actually our eight, eight month. Actually eight month, yes, so, this is nine months. Yeah, yes. I blew that, sorry about that, but I can't count. We lose track. That's why I leave Time's the math to Chris. So fast. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't um, watching it. Yeah, <laughs> so um, anyway, so it is actually our nine month anniversary, yeah. living full time in our RV. And we have made it, we are currently spending pretty much the entire month of April in Texas. Uh, so right now we are just outside of Burnett. Burnett, Texas. Yeah, we left from San Antonio this morning and we're about two hours, it was a two hour drive up here. Um, and the closest town to where we're at right now is Burnett, which is about uh, seven, eight miles east of us. So we're right on uh, Lake Buchanan, which is what you can see behind us. That's kind of the shoreline, and if I just pan over here, that's... It's huge. It's really big. That's Lake Buchanan. If I would pan all the way around, there's that, like there's the Buchanan Dam right over there, and it's enormous. Yeah, we, we weren't expecting that when we drove up. We'll, but... we'll show you at the end yeah. of the video. Sure. But, um, so we're near Burnett, which is west of Austin. And what's really exciting about this month is we're actually waiting for my uh, some of my family members to come visit. They're going to fly out to Texas and we're going to do San Antonio and Austin together. But Chris and I are here kind of waiting. We have like two weeks left, right? Yeah, uh, a little less than two weeks. Um, they come in, yeah, a little less than two weeks. Oh, got windy. Yeah. Um, we're still working on some way to shelter the <laughs> camera phone from wind, so apologize for the And my feedback. face. From yeah. the leaves flying in the... <laughs> Getting gravel burn all over my legs. But, but we're going to keep going. We'll press on. Okay, press on. Uh, right, so we're waiting for them. But in the meantime, yeah, we're, so we're checking out Hill Country. We are... We just came from San Antonio. We just wanted yes. to kind of go through ahead of time. And we wanted to see the Riverwalk area. Right. Uh, which, yeah, we spent a couple of days down there. And we loved it. It was really, And we wanted really to nice. see how to get around the best way so that, because they're only going to be here like five days. Yeah. So. And what we didn't realize was San Antonio was the seventh largest city in the country, which maybe yes. everybody knows, but we had, we were really surprised I to hear that. did not see that one coming. We thought it was yeah. smaller than that. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah much. So. Uh, and it, it has, with that said though, it, for the parts that we saw at least, and we were downtown a lot, it has a small feel to it. It like does. It was easy it to get in and out of. Um, again, we were only there for a few us, days. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you live there, it might be a little bit tougher, but right. um, yeah, it was it was a good experience. Yes. Yeah. So, while we're in the hill country, we are checking out the wildflowers, which are in bloom right now. And behind us, you can yeah. see some, of, some of the them. blue bonnets, which is the Texas state flower. And we just saw a ton driving up here. Um, and so we're going to be doing that. There's a lot of state parks in the area, but state parks do, they do charge a fee here in Texas, which is, you know, uh, respectable because they're, they're really, really beautiful parks. Um, we, however, I don't think we're going to hit a lot of them because we're trying to save a little bit until my family gets here. So, yep. um, but there are a lot of state parks in the area. Hopefully, maybe we'll get the kayak out if it's not too windy one of these days out on Lake Buchanan. Yeah. And otherwise, we are just going to be checking out the area. Yeah. And we did do a fix this month. We usually oh, yeah. talk about a fix. Yes, yeah, so the fix this month for um, really since we got the camper, one of the things that I've been wanting to do was kind of get it a little bit more leveled up when we're towing. Like, you really want the, um, the trailer to be as level as possible when it's hooked up to your truck. Um, and ours was close. I mean, it wasn't terrible. And I had, you know, the shop guys tell me that it's, it's okay. You know, I mean, it's certainly safe to tow. But um, still for, you know, I've got, you know, two axles on my trailer. So you want the weight as evenly distributed as possible. So you really want to get it level. Um, and in a conversation I was having with a couple of guys that when we were staying in the Lake Medina area in Texas, and we were talking about it, it just kind of came up randomly. And, you know, I had always been trying to figure out how to adjust the hitch more to make things work. And, you know, I hadn't really even considered the pin, you know, which is the thing that's attached to the trailer, that's adjustable too. Um, so I took a close look at it, it was just some some bolts, you know, that could be adjusted. Now everything's really heavy and it's big, so th there was a, a big guy there that was able to help me out. He was fantastic. Actually, I had help from a few guys, but uh, one in particular, the day we actually did the job, uh, it was great having him there. Um, and Texas people are really, really friendly. Yeah, we've, oh, we've had such a great experience, we really <laughs> yeah. have. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, so that, that went well, and the, our last two trips here, um, 
since that adjustment was made, I've noticed a uh, difference just in the way it uh, handles and really in the towing. Really happy in the towing. Yeah, yeah really happy that that got done. So that, yeah, that was a fix. Yeah, so yeah. that's our fix, and there'll be more coming. A whole lot more on Texas once we leave this area. Then you know the San Antonio Austin area. Then we're gonna hit Big Bend uh, National Park, which is gonna be really, really unique. It's supposed to be one yeah. of the wildest places, really, I think, in the, in the entire country. We'll find out. Yes, a huge, yeah. huge national park right along the border, and I'm dying to see the Rio Grande. Even though we were at the border, we did not see the Rio Grande, so I'm dying yeah. to see the Rio Grande and look over across to Mexico. So we'll be doing that before we head into New Mexico on May 1st. Yeah, New Mexico is up after Texas. All right, so more to come soon, and we will see you next time. Catch you later. It's still far off, it's tough to tell, but this is actually a bald eagle that we just spotted. He is fishing right while we were trying to take our video. It's really zoomed in on the, the camera phone, so I'm sure this might be a little fuzzy, but it's definitely coming this way. Here are the blue bonnets that were just behind us. And they smell like perfume. They are very fragrant, which is wonderful. And then we got Lake Buchanan here. Now what we mentioned earlier about that dam, I'm gonna pan around. It'll be actually it's gonna be a little tough to see, but over far on the left, behind there's a little row of trees here right in front of us. Behind that is a rather large dam, which makes the lake. So. After we took our video, we decided to check out the RV park, and it's called Big Chief RV Resort. And look at this pool! I mean, it's ridiculous. Sometimes we don't really pay too much attention because we're looking at RV resorts all the time, and, you know, really we just wing it, I'm just going to be honest. But this is ridiculous. They had a nice nature trail, they have all kinds of stuff you can do for free too, like beanbag toss, and. Um, I forget what the frisbee golf thing, froth, and uh, you can see Aunt Gladdy straight through there. There she is. She's, I think, the oldest one in the, the resort, but that's alright. So just beautiful. So we're going to enjoy our time here. <laughs> 